Some time ago, I was wondering how can politicians leverage this auto artificial intelligence to gauge public opinion on key policy issues. So I fed that information into uh, a chat. And so you can see that's the question I asked. And it, that's what I received. As you can see, it says that the politician can use the AI-driven sentiment, uh, such as social media posts, news articles, and surveys. And the analysis can identify the public sentiment about a particular policy. So I thought that was really interesting, you know, that you feed this information in to a program like chat uh, GPT. And um, so I decided to ask another question. So that question was, how can politicians target social media ads using AI-powered ag algorithms in the elections or campaigns? And so I received this response. That they, can, they can use the AI-powered algorithms to target social media ads during the election. And as you can see, it says that they analyze the demographics, interests, and behaviors of the voters. Uh, they will then take the algorithms to adjust the content of the ads, um, and this can help the politician maximize the effectiveness of the campaigns. So we were told that the program can actually do uh, amazing things for social media. So I asked this question, how can ChatGPT analyze social media conversations, identifying key issues and concerns about voters? How does that work? And the response I got is, it can be used to analyze social media conversations, identifying key issues and concerns about voters. Uh, can process large amount of data, such as tweets or comment posts, or uh, whether it's Facebook or Twitter. Um, they can analyze the sentiment of the conversations, and then the data can be used to gain insights on the concern and issues that are important to the vote. So at that point, I want to know exactly what was the process. So I, I, I really targeted in, and I asked, tell me, how can I have you analyze a Facebook post? Procedurally, how do you want this information? So I'm really asking it, tell me how to do this. And so the response I got was, the first step would be to provide the post to uh, the artificial intelligence. You can copy and paste the post, um, and uh, in so that's that's what it says. It says AI will then provide this information in a chart or graph for easy interpretation. So what I did was I actually have a tool that scrapes social media and puts it into uh, a Excel spreadsheet. So I fed that into the program, and this is what. Uh, after doing that, I, I said, so this is the scraped data from recent tweets regarding Louisiana insurance crisis and how Louisiana legislature is trying to deal with it now. These are from various politicians, activists, and reporters. So identify the topics and the sentiments of these tweets. So I'm feeding a these tweets, as you can see. And this is from like the top 20 tweets. And I'm asking it to please uh, look at these tweets and analyze. And so topics, it says topics, insurance crisis in Louisiana, insurance companies, insurance commissioner, fortified program, national car insurance, etc. Sentiment, positive five, neutral nine, and negative or six. So that's how they actually analyze that information. So I wanted to get an idea. I wanted to drill down even more. So I followed up with this question. Based upon the tweet data and your analysis, what message should the insurance industry give to convince legislators and voters to protect their interests? Meaning, you know, based on the tweet information that you just read, what would the message be that the insurance industry should give to the legislator to protect the insurance company interests? And the response was, I mean, look at this. The insurance industry should emphasize the importance of providing adequate insurance coverage to protect the people. Louisiana should emphasize the need to create a competitive marketplace in order to provide affordability and stability. Uh, the industry should also emphasize the importance of supporting initiatives such as Fortified Program, which is aimed at hurricane-proofing roofs, providing financial protection for homeowners. Uh, finally, the industry should emphasize the importance of cracking down insurance fraud. So that's what the focus, based on those tweets, that's the focus that the insurance company should take. So then I decided, okay, let's let's get a little bit, uh, get more information. And so I, I asked, so what about the 
what message would the consumer, based on those tweets, what would the message from the consumer be to the legislature to fix the problem, to protect the consumer interests? The answer I got was, so the message from the consumer should emphasize the need for meaningful insurance reform. The consumers should urge the legislature to take action to address current insurance crisis, increasing competition, developing incentives for insurers to enter the market, more transparency, oversight, uh, and the consumer should emphasize the need for protections against insurance fraud and abuse. Uh, finally, consumers should urge the legislature to pass laws that would protect them from unfair and deceptive practices for insurers. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So, Again, this is based on the tweets. So I want to know whether or not there was any difference between the two, the, the consumer and the insurance industry. Or the message is uh, the same. If not, how do they differ? The message from the consumer to the legislator and from the insurance companies, they differ. And so it, what it's saying is that the message from the consumers should be increasing competition, more transparency, oversight. Uh, from the insurance companies, however, it should focus on the need for incentives for insurers to enter the market, the need for hurricane-proofing roofs, and for uh, enforcement of laws to crack down on insurance fraud. So I just then asked this question, what tweet did you find most helpful to the insurance industry? And it says that uh, this particular tweet, it states that they should also allow insurance companies to drop coverage on uh, on people who are not taking care of their own interests, who are being uh, negligent, that they should be forced, uh, that, that insured should not be forced to pay for their bad decisions. So now I ask this question, which tweet was the most helpful to the consumer in convincing the legislature to help their need. And the response I got was this. Um, the most helpful tweet to the consumer in convincing the legislature to help their need is one from Adams and Reese, which states, and that's kind of interesting, uh, Adams and Reese says, state lawmakers advanced two bills Tuesday that realtors insurance agents hope will improve the insurance landscape. This tweet highlights the need for legislators to take action to improve the insurance landscape in Louisiana, which will benefit both realtors and insurance agents. So they referred to the Adams and Reese tweet. 